welcome back to the channel um, today we are painting a rifle so you probably saw that from the title but you know figured I'd say it again so let's see what we got going on today so got my AR just got it back from the gunsmith got some work done to it got this new stock put on got a geysley trigger thrown in there they mounted and leveled this thing for me and got a new charging handle but while I'm painted I decided to do I'm gonna paint this I got three new mags that need to be painted and I'm gonna paint my button bump helmet because you know it just looks cool that way so yeah that's the plan for today and yeah we're gonna talk about how to do it properly so I've got everything taped up how I want it. <clears throat> so I didn't want to get any paint on the trigger or up in here in the mag well. The dust cover should protect all that from getting paint in it. Um, covered up all the markings on my scope that I wanted to keep. Everything else is getting painted over. Painted up the lens of my flashlight, muzzle device so I can still get my can on there. <sighs> on the helmet covered up all the velcro just because velcro and paint don't go too good together for the mags you don't want anything in the mags where it goes into the gun so I'm just gonna paint down here and I didn't want anything getting in the holster so it's not covered up too good but it'll do so let's get painting so we're gonna start off with some of this because I couldn't find the color I wanted in the camouflage and Prylon. So, we'll make it work. Gonna do a little bit there, a little bit there. Let's see. Just a little bit to get a little base coat of that on there. Not sure how I like that, but we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. This one is the Rust Oleum camouflage, and this one's a like an olive drab. So, and then basically those spots I didn't hit before. So, just got a little stripiness going on there. Don't know how the camera work was on it, but. So. Just kind of getting some base coats down. And then I'm going to do some extra texturing things to it a little later. So, let that dry for a second, then we'll flip it over. So, while that first coat dries, I figured now's a good enough time as any to. As good a time as any? Eh, whatever to talk about why I'm doing the colors I'm doing. So, I live in the southeast US and ain't no deserts around me. Everything's woods, except for like the beach and I don't really shoot at the beach. So, I'm going with a woodland color scheme. I did it before on this rifle and it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. I didn't have a good dark brown in my base coat. So it came out a little too light green uh, it was just too olive and I just wasn't happy with it so I'm gonna try this hopefully it comes out a little better than it did last time but I think it'll look pretty good so I'm sure y'all will see what it looks like before now I might put in like a clip of it or something just to give y'all a little tease but we'll see how it goes all right now it's time to kind of break up some of them uh, different colors it's drying a little bit. I just want to get a little bit of 
a little bit of that in there. I don't know what's under that coat, but we'll see. So for right now, I'm just going to do that on there, see how it turns out. Worst case, I can always start over and, you know, it's just spray paint. fan of that right there. I don't like that hard line. Yeah. And right there I want to get a little bit of uh, There we go, just a little bit of texture to it. Don't want to do anything too crazy. You know, just kind of break it up a little bit. Ah, it's a little more brown. Yeah, well, that's working, more or less. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to my magazines and my helmet and see how it goes. So uh, now I've got just the khaki one. I'm just going to give it a little bit of love. Just, you know, it's a little bright, but yeah, that's Yeah, I just want a little bit of accent to it. That's a little brighter than I want it to be. I think I went a little heavy handed on it. But. Let's see, a little bit of. Yeah, that's starting to come together nicely. Man, it's hot out here. <clears throat> um, now I'm just waiting on the paint to dry. I think it looks pretty good. Um, we'll see how it looks once it dries up. But for now, I'm happy with it. Um, the last one I did, it was just too light, like I said. And now I've got a lot more of the uh, dark brown in there. And I think that'll look really good. And it'll blend in a little better in the environment. So thanks for watching. Um, hit the like button and the subscribe button. I don't know where it is. I'm sure you can find it. You're a smart person. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining me. And hopefully you learned something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a good teacher, but that's how we get started, I guess. <laughs>